<laughs> Complicated machinery. Turn everything on. Yes, yes, I'm just trying to... T. Yo, I'm Mr. Rags. Goodbye. Scan the letters on it, but yeah, didn't even think of that. Okay. Hmm. Seven, two, one. The seven all agreements. Now it's showing it. Huh. Left to right. 7213. 7213. This is probably this is blue, so this is the other one, but still. Sunstar boot. That is Okay. Got that pretty early. That was insane. So it's done. Wasn't that the one I already grabbed? 
I know, right? That's Isn't that the one I already grabbed though? Oh, I guess whatever. Compass on this, I assume. Wait. Open the compass before I can draw a circle with it. Okay, so open the damn compass. Well, I guess I need to know how big to make it. To set the compass to that might help. Hey. So I assume it's the ones that intersect. Off of, but but where do I start? Maybe those words are a clue. <laughs> what a pistol. Yeah, what a pistol. Uh, I guess we'll just... There's kind of a line, like, right in the middle, so I guess we'll just go clockwise, I guess. One... Ten minutes. I wonder if that's change for my pick betray. I know, right? Uh, so right. on, off, on. Off. Hey. clocks here. I didn't even notice that second clock. 510 on blue. Right. 1,400 seconds on red. Found a manual on the floor there. How convenient. It says the machine doesn't really use electricity in a conventional way. In a conventional way. Those tubes use some kind of special liquid to transmit electricity. Actually, it's pretty complicated. Some versions use voltage by adjusting the flow of the liquid. Okay. That goes to the right tube. That shuts it off. Then it gets halved. Okay, each pipe will end up with 120 instead of getting... 40. Unknowns of the tar in the target values. The one of the three question marks means it's supposed to be a three digit number, while the ones with only two means that they're, those are two digit numbers. A single question mark means it's a value that's only a single digit. Hundreds mean three. So 
We're okay. Our house. It's very specific. Oh, no, wait, I have it. Damn it. Liquid will only flow from top to bottom. Oh. Okay. Three. We got 105. So. so that should be. That should be fine. Three digit value. That goes there. So that we've got 105 going towards here, which is our three digit value. Then we've got like 120. Let's see, so we've got 240 going right into here. So actually, we don't need that because we've got. 105 going right here, so that's correct. So these two are fine. This is all fine. And then we've got 105 going into here. So then two digit value needs to go here, so. So then. Two digit value, or one digit value needs to go here. Hold on. So one digit value needs to go in here. Well, there's only so many things that could be, so it's gotta be half and so half 120 60 so that's actually fine right something has to go here okay, so that's 60 so then it's just That's 120. Let me see. 105 come in here. So that'd be 160. So it's 160. And then 80. No, oh, no, wait. No, there's actually nothing coming in here because this is all flowing. Wait, I need to change that. Yeah. I need that to be half. So, yeah. Okay, that was pointed. That was going. Or is that correct? So, in the whole 210, and then it's 105, 105. So that's correct. So then there's nothing coming into here. So then all the 320 goes into here. And then That'll be half of this, that'll be 120. And then 120 here, and then 120 directly to here, and then that gets split in half here. So 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 
160 goes in here into 120, that's 180. So that's 180. Now it's... Sixty-three forty. Though that's correct. So now this is all. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we have power. We're still missing a piece. Still got the lockers, so all right, so we take it seven two one three should be the number. Seven two one three seven Part. <laughs> okay, so we just gotta divide those into hours and minutes. So 510 minutes is 8 hours and 30 minutes. So 8 30. And the other one is. Second, it was one one four zero zero sixty one hundred and ninety minutes, so three hours ten minutes, three hours ten minutes. I figured it out while I was pooping. It was a very intelligent poop. That's why. Is this the tree where you grow the Skittles from? It's a root of a Skittles tree. for what? The CT scanner. Let us take pictures of a cross section of your brain, organs and stuff. Imagine things in the human body too. This root for instance. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Scanning the root. Oh god. So what we're seeing on the left is a slice of that root. You mean the right? I'm supposed to do that. I think trial and error is going to be the best way to figure this one out. Just start messing with it and see what happens. Sure. Drag and drop. 
Dragging up and down where the image of the root is displayed will allow you to scroll between layers. The bottom layer has eight circles, different colors. Four of those circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number to each circle. What? The bottom layer has eight circles of different colors. Four of those circles are blank. Assign appropriate numbers to each circle. The numbers can be used are displayed a cross section, you can move numbers where they need to go by dragging them. So we just have to fill in the numbers. One hundred. So all the numbers have to add up to a hundred, I guess. Four over sixteen. This is my, this is my solution, so four, four, five, four. This will add up. So what's in the, what number do we currently have? 31, 46, 67. So it's 33 remaining. So it gives us what, nine. Can we get 33? Let's try this. Question mark. That gives us fourth, a fifth, so it all has to add up to a hundred. What did I say where it's? 31, 46, 67, so we're at 67. So four numbers that add up to 33, right? So that's what? Four numbers add up to 33. Let's see, is it? Four, five, six, that's nine, that's not enough. Add up to 33. 10, Eight, twenty-seven, six. I'm sure it's probably is that the only combination that works? Ten, nine, eight, six. Well, then where do they go? Three fifteenths. So fifth. Is that a percentage? Twenty percent, twenty five, so six, eight, so in the other two numbers we have what, fourteen, ten. Hey, give me my password. Moon Star Star. That wasn't too bad. Wonderful, we got the cards. Okay. Now, what is this thing? Calculator? Oh, 
Oh, is this the thing we can use to disable the bomb? Finally, our key. Yes, yes, yes. Three, two, one, turn. To oh, what? I think maybe that's an annihilation reactor. The core of the annihilation bomb could work on the same principles. I think Fine knows a lot more about these, though. Tidbits of information about annihilation reactors. Right. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there, probably hydrogen and anti-hydrogen, bumping into one another. There's a bunch of energy, you can actually calculate how much energy by making the mass deflect them. Too complicated, too complicated, you're just gonna say the octopus thing is a machine that runs off annihilation energy, right? Or an engine, a steam engine, or a turbo combustion engine, just better. <laughs> it's all generated by Mr. Octopus, I mean, that's all you really need to know. Where floats your coat? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. This is Mr. Octopus's control room. Fucking Squidward. I knew that Squidward was zero all along. You found it! Congratulations. Bang bang! An Ambidex 45. Maybe they must have found a. We should get back up. Whoever jumped the gun is probably. It's Dio! <laughs> we were SpongeBob. We grew older. We became Squidward. That's both hilarious and sad, <laughs> and true. <laughs> I'm feeling more like Squidward every day since I became a dad. <laughs> never, lo never lose your inner SpongeBob. Always, always keep a little bit of SpongeBob in your heart. Don't never go full Squidward. I gotta try to predict when it start when it's about to do the map thing and hit fast forward. There's ten minutes of clover. Clover and I Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. <laughs> you got a problem? Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone Sigma's right. We were the others could still be stuck somewhere. Oh, I remember his flute. What if they can't get back? Was it a flute or was it a sax? I guess, yeah, it was a flute. Oh, thank goodness. You're all here. Yes, it's Quark, you see? What? What happened to- He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. What? Please, you must- This can- You should- Oh, no. And Quark is sick. So this is kind of leaning towards the same way. Quark, come on, get a hold of your... Let me just do a quick save. Clarinet, that's what it was. He did. Yeah. I'm not saying Squidward's a bad person. You could, you'd still be Squidward, but I'm just saying keep, keep a little bit of SpongeBob in your heart. Just a little bit. Skip some of this. Quark! Quark! Oh, thank you're away! Get away! I just got what? the scalpel! Pastor, what are you Is it but Like! Now we've got him pinned. No. 
Uh, right. On it. Me too. Slick! We sedate him. Very reminiscent of the last... Of the last, uh, timeline. <laughs> Respiration, blood... According... <laughs> yes. What about how long... He shouldn't... Man, he sure would... I, it probably attacks the part of the brain that... Yeah? Huh? Oh, well... How much do you know? I pro All I've seen... <laughs> Why would I've seen... So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you? Yes. At least. Wouldn't recommend it or all skip. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm expecting it to at least vary at some point. At least seemed like that initial bit was all repeated. Uh. And she's gone crazy. We're all. Huh? Where only terrorists would resort. You don't un uh, The virus will still kill everyone. I there I All right. Yep. Alice goes crazy. I wonder if he'll remember, though, that she's in the, uh, the, the biodome or whatever. You lost her. Well, let's quickly. Right. Look, if you find, just do understood. Ten me the rest sound good? I all right, let's go. Behind, all same. Oh, come on, you know where she is. Don't play dumb. I don't know, that's a good point. It might not have. <laughs> I'll just save real quick, we're gonna speed things up a little bit. Archives. There's a different room. <laughs> Try the garden where Clover Ten Neoji had gone. Okay, so the garden is open. in here. So at least all the same door. I'm not sure about the archive being opened before, but at least this one was. Is it for? It's probably for just growing food. Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you should. I just got. She was like when you showed. Yeah. Her breathing and pulse. She doesn't appear to have any obvious. Looks like it. Doesn't look like she has. Figure she probably dropped it. Anyway. Give me a hand. Wait, there's something I need to tell you. Just stay calm. Look to the right. You're right. Oh, shit. That's new. It's the uh, number one bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the number on the side. I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. 
I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. <laughs> yeah. Clover, Tenmi OG, and Dio investigated the garden. It's Dio. There's also a chance someone else said it. Anyone could have come here after they left and before we showed up. Anyway. I'm like 90% sure here. Dio's the one planting the bombs. Is that that was his his mission. And he had the passwords for the bombs in his timeline, so you know. See all signs seem to point to Dio. But that doesn't not really that important at this moment. Alright, please pay attention. You need to hear the atom. What did it say? She's got the virus. Oh, she's... she's got the radical six. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> ah. Oh no. No! What's going to happen? Well, like I said, it's a special weather and no, no! Oh, I don't want you to die! Please don't die! I don't want to be alone! Don't die! <laughs> Dr. Rojas' unconscious body began to sob. I just have the heart to pull her off, so this is new. We watch her uncomfortably. Ten minutes remain. All players, if no vote is recorded before... Uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. I guess we're just gonna have to leave him behind. No! I'm not leaving! I'm staying here! Like heck I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! She's going to be fine. I gave her some Soberil. She'll just be sleeping like Quark. I don't care! I just... I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Whatever. She can do what she wants. I see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next AB game is Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll def- Which, I don't think I need to mention, would be pretty favorable for Dio. If she stays, he's got an easy round. Whoa. What are you saying? You think I'm gonna choose Betray? Yeah. I do. Am I wrong? Yes! Of course I'm gonna pick Ally. For one, Tenmyoji's gonna be in there with me. I can't just ignore his opinion and make my own choice, right? I mean, you can't. No, I wouldn't be going. I can't leave Quark here when he's like this. I'll be staying. Hey, come on now. What is this? Knock it off, Dio. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. What the hell? <laughs> Why are you so suspicious of me? Um... Yes? He's only got five points, so... Him voting Betray doesn't really help him all that much. What if Dio stays behind too? If Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio all don't vote, then everyone allies, right? Oh, you don't know? Know what? This. You didn't find a note like this one? Huh? Wait, what's this? We found it in the archives. Well, there sure as hell wasn't anything like that in the garden. We didn't find one in the control room either. Hmm. Apparently, only the Archive had one. Why don't you read it for us, Sigma? Let's just say, each, you know, one person of each group has to vote. You see? At least one member of each trio must vote. That means Kay has to vote. Quark and Alice certainly aren't in any condition to. If he doesn't, all three... Wait a second. Kay's got six BP right now. His opponent is going to have to default to ally. That means if Kay chooses Betray, he's going to have nine points. You needn't worry. I have every intention of choosing ally. Oh, give me a break. You expect us to just swallow your bullshit? Oh, dear. Dio, please, think for a moment. You do realize that Alice currently only has one BP, don't you? If I were to betray her, what would happen? Everyone. I am not so desperate to escape that I would be willing to kill. Therefore, I will definitely choose ally. Indeed. I really have no choice. Unless, of course, I wish to become a murderer. Five minutes. We don't have time to argue about. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. Huh? What does that mean? What, did I use big words? Huh? <laughs> it means this! Looking like he covered a few feet between himself and Dio and slept. One thing I was thinking about earlier today, because for some reason this game randomly pops into my brain, 
It seems like almost everyone except me is here because not because they want to be, but here with a purpose. I'm just kind of here. I'm kind of the rando, but it seems like Clover talk about training. Alice is like seems like she's investigating or she's a detective or FBI or something. Dio is here on a mission. Kay doesn't know why he's here. But Kay is somehow like linked to the doctor or something. Oh, yeah. Uh so it seems like it's Henry OG said he's here and him and Clover are here or him and Quark are here voluntarily. Where's the old woman in this timeline? We haven't seen her. But uh, it seems like almost everybody is here with a purpose or a, a thing they want to do, except me. He's not going to stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover. But, but you and Kay are in the I same I guess position. the difference is I would have been done if this was 999 I would have been done already <laughs> I've only got one BP just like Alice interest so long as Ten Miyoji doesn't vote Clover's only choice is to choose ally hmm admittedly there is a chance she might kill me are, are you saying you trust me with your life that's about the size of it well, what the hell are you standing around forget you don't need to worry about Alice I'll keep a good eye on her I promise now get moving you still don't trust me. N no, that's not it at all. I trust you. Three minutes. We need to go. Come on. Okay, take care of Alice. She'll be fine. Hmm. Well, you play Night Night since this three special took away from the game for sure. I also just happened to pick like the perfect path, so that was that was through nobody else's doing but my own. I picked like the perfect path on the first run through to set up the good ending or true ending. Yeah. Yes, we do. Fair, but I don't think I really missed all that much in 999, to be honest. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I definitely would not have played through all those endings <laughs> if I had to redo like every path. <laughs> You're going to choose Ally, right? Of course we are. You promised. Cross your heart. <laughs> You're gonna be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I with the with the paths I chose, I got all the main story. The only thing I missed was just like kind of just random bullshit of stuff that didn't really pertain to the main storyline. Maybe we would have picked up some extra bits of lore, but I don't really care. <laughs> If I care about lore, I'd be sitting here reading those golden files I'm finding. <laughs> well, extra lore, we'll say. Dodling. One minute. What are you going to do? <laughs> yes, but... Phi has six BP. Seven lowest, but you get to see Clover lose it before she murders you. If she betrays I think somebody us. sent me the YouTube link of, of, of Clover murdering us. Right. I... It's your decision, Sigma. I'll be in the same position either... You have 6 BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Phi, and she chooses Ally... Yes, you see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. 20 seconds, Reem. That's it. 
We don't have any time left. You have to make a ch- Yes. Right, Ten we'll seconds, Reem. We'll do ally this time, and we'll go back for Nine, Betray. Eight, seven, six, five, four. <laughs> this game three, has way too much two, fluff text. One. Like, come, just get on with it. I know what I'm gonna do here. Just get on with it. I don't need a countdown for everything. Round two results will be displayed. Thank you. Everything's a countdown. Everything's walking through hallways. This game is so way too much things to drag it out. It's kind of annoying. Don't get me wrong. The story in here is pretty good, but there, I have some gripes with just how it constantly presents itself. You chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? Here I you said it any time I first, which is why the countdown is always there. There doesn't need to be a countdown at all. That doesn't add to anything. Really? No, that's not what I mean. It's just... You're right. Let's go. It tries to set the mood way too many times. Results <laughs> from round two of the please. Okay. Anyway, results. Did I get screwed by Fi? Did she betray me? Ella, 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 Ella. Betray! Ooh, she betrayed me. You can't skip the countdown. Points I've tried. Have been assigned. Or, so please check your bracelet. Oh, believe me, I've been clicking like crazy. We? I don't remember that. You promised me. You said you'd choose Ally, but I don't recall promising you anything. I was free to choose whatever I wanted. You should have seen this coming. I told you I'd make you pay. And now... <laughs> what she did. You reap what you sow. This is your fault. <laughs> you chose betray first. No, well, that's fair. No, I mean the first round too. Yes, you have. Remember? Oh, don't lie to me, sick. Drop the act. There's no way you don't know by now. What's happening to you? The strange things you've been seeing. <laughs> Reform is fucking about the felt the felt the tingle along the back of my neck. Ooh. What are the two of you talking about? It's nothing. Forget about it. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You were the only person who chose to betray this round. Is there some connection to what you and Sigma were discussing? Yes, there is a... connection. But you wouldn't believe me. You don't know that. We might believe a lot. <laughs> so long as I stare off in the distance. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Damn, whatever happened to the other timeline where she was just like, I'm going to save everybody. I'm for the team. Now she's just like, peace. Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. You're in my way. Move. Kind of person who ditched the rest of us or get, so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. Damn. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Treasure, what do you say? Whatever. Just get out of my way. I see. Then you leave me no choice. Whee! <laughs> And she's got some ups. Hmm. 
Nice try. Bloody Tay. Acta est fabula. Is that, is that Latin? <laughs> it's Latin. Yeah. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. See you later. Continued indeed. How do we stop Phi? This looks like a this looks like a short path, but we've learned before that the flowchart lies, so let's go back for betray. One minute remains until at So you chose b did you do it to protect yourself? Were you worried that Phi might choose huh? Well, we should go see the- I want to see how Kay and Clover vote. <laughs> or she's just going to straight murder me because I betrayed her again. <laughs> Results from round plea. <laughs> like, you are horribly murdered by Fi. <laughs> She changed. Damn. Now I've got the power to leave. What the hell? She changed. Points, please. It's this again. Everybody changes their answers. Well played, Sigma. <laughs> I guess a promise means a lot to you. Why did you do it? Nothing to say. I guess I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. A lapsum semel occasionum. A Latin proverb. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. But why was she, she was mad before because I betrayed her, but I hadn't betrayed her yet. <laughs> Jupiter is a Roman. Actually, he's kind of the Roman god. He's in charge. Not even Jupiter, the ruler of the gods, can take back what's been done. You did something bad. You're not going to get a chance to take it back. What, what happens if you go back and pick ally again? <laughs> yeah, probably nothing. Probably the same results, I'm sure. What do you intend to do? You aren't thinking about trying to... Hmm. But now they don't trust me. I couldn't do that. How can I possibly just fight leaving all behind just so I could escape on my own? I had chosen Betray because it was the other choice to make. The memory of seeing flip a choice, but I was just really curious about what would happen. <laughs> if betrayal was what I wanted, I should have made that choice of commitment. There I was, I couldn't turn back. Even if I didn't try to open their nine door, they would all be suspicious of anything I did. Trust is easy to break, hard to repair. Unless I could somehow turn back the clock, I was stuck with the consequences of my actions. Just, just jump for all of them and leave, it's easy. Not even Jupiter. Why had I just chosen an ally? Like, what would happen right now? What if, what if, what if? Sigma, we're just doing this to be safe. We can't let you run around with 9 BP. I'm afraid you're going to have to sleep for a little while, okay? <laughs> and smack.
Rip. <laughs> All right. Kind of figured she kicked my ass, so. That changed. Why did that change colors? You chose out. Are you sure? You said what? Okay, let's go. Does that mean we can now do it? Maybe now she'll choose ally? Results, please. No, still betrayed. Points, please. I saw you the Wait, hold on. What'd she say? She was ally before, I see. You remember too, the other round too. No. You remember how I chose Betray last time yeah, around, too? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? Yes. How could we both know about earlier about round two? Earlier round two. History, what the hell was I thinking? That's conspiracy. This is conspiracy, sure. Sure, stop, stop. Hmm. No way I could know what happened. No way I could know. At least I didn't think that there was any way I could know. But if I could know, then how? I remember fight choosing ally that scouted at me that I broke my pauses for any revenge. That was not as I won't for I'll make sure you pay. Right, I know that probably more importantly, why if I remember it, what the hell did any of that mean? It happened before, hadn't it? I remember when I was playing against Ellis, I'd seen something. The frogs are turning radical! Reason, I had seen a reality where we chose an ally instead. So I realized that I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kate. It all began to speak at once. What happened? Why did you choose Betray, Fi? Yeah, you're the only one who didn't vote Al. Right. Well, I've got not so sorry, but I'm. Do I really have to? I'm leaving. Now I know she's gonna jump for it, so I could catch her. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You're in my way. Move. When someone betrays your trust, I don't think. Whatever. I see. Then you leave me. No. Whoosh. Nice try. Bloody Tay. It's Latin. Applaud the play. That's what it means. See you later. Suppose so Why would you ever find a lost opportunity? You sure this is how you want it to end? The bombs, we still don't know the truth about any of it. If you leave now, you never will. Is that really what you want? Ooh, we convinced her. I'm sorry about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure. Forget about it. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. I think we're even. Uh, what are you talking When did you betray her? Are you talking about round one? Just drop it. There's no point. Hmm. Broke your first lock. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. Hmm. Huh? Hmm? 
Hmm? I don't get it. Well, at least it seems Fi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind? Yeah, I'll stick around a little longer. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. Oh man, please don't scare us like that again. Ding ding. The Ambidex gates have round three star keys are required. There is no set limit. The Ambidex gates. As long as you have the star keys, you can play the. You probably won't be allowed to play it continue. There's a period of time between when the doors open. Based off the last two rounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't Zero Jr. say something? The pair and solo assign. Right. Kind of repeated dialogue. Right. Uh... Yeah, I saw him too. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same. Okay, now we're just talking about the white doors. So I'm guessing now we've severely expanded this flow chart. Oh, they had the same time. little lock thingies. That's a little longer. Go ahead and do a drop a save here. You found another bomb? Where? No, that's not possible. We didn't see anything like that. Could you have missed it? No, no way! We checked every part of that room. Hmm. You think there might be a third bomb out there some? I think there's a good chance. So why did Fi want to know Very specifically well. the combination of the zero bomb. bomb is a question. Why the zero bomb? There's, let's, let's assume for a moment that there's nine bombs out there. Maybe even ten. If there's a zero and a one through nine, there could potentially be like ten bombs in this place. At least. That few. Who knows? Why was Fi why did Fi specifically want the password to the zero bomb? It could be anywhere. But even if we do find it, that is a concern. Maybe for later me. on we end up in a situation where we might where it's like counting down and it's about to blow up and we need to Why stop with Teddy? I know it could be ten, hundred, who knows? But maybe we're in a, like a room somewhere and it's like counting down and we have to stop it or we die. So we need specifically the zero bomb password. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. All right, I'll head back to the infirmary and let- Please. How about we set a time to meet back here? Just the time we have left until the chromatic doors open is- <laughs> One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? That sounds good to me. Right. I'll tell the others, too. <laughs> I wonder if Alice and Quark are still alive. <laughs> I guess we're just not going to go check on them then. Okay. Oh, wait. That's right. Last time it wasn't the archive, it was the treatment room. Well, that's interesting. So we have no, we don't have access to the treatment room on this timeline. I don't know why I was thinking about that. But... <laughs> Warehouse a bit. So it seems. I've been here the whole time. Creepy. Oh, I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. 
<laughs> I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. Are you bad? Are you? You're the bad I already told you I'm not. Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? Why do you say that? You're right. Hmm. Do you know what it means? The Latin part. Remember your, Remember your mortality. Never forget that we all die someday. It's sort of what about the other part? It's exactly what it says on the tin, right? Some, of the, some sort of conditional about lions and hmm. sons. No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Huh? Don't you know Latin? Maybe you could figure well, out. Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. How do you know that phrase? Elapsum samo occasionem non ipsi protest lupiter reprehender. Oh, that's from, um. this. This? In the brooch for a chest. Look oh. at the back. That's cool. We do get to see her brooch. I'd noticed it before on her, but I didn't know if it was just, you know, just, you know, if it was actually anything significant. Yeah. A memento of my late mother. Your late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents and they told me where the brooch had come from. Apparently it was the only thing my mother had left behind. Don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never saw his face. And I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Hmm. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elapsum simel occasionum non ipsi protest Jupiter reprehendere. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But it seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this. Alone. Yeah, There's I something agree. else we need to do too, though. Fine, exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So... This used to be a drinking beer out of a horn stream. I do need to get a drinking horn. I should get a drinking horn. I should get a drinking horn. That would be awesome. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What is this? Is this a... Is this a... It's a Ruru raid. Yo, what's up, Ryu? Thank you so much for the raid and bringing all your fam... I'm trying to remember where you were last I checked you. I'm guessing it was a ripped run. I'll take care of his run ripped. Yeah, I'm guessing the same thing. Where and how did you die, sir? It was it a glorious, wonderful death? That's all we could hope for. To go out in the blaze of glory. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't just We're dancing there. with waifus in this game. We need to get a move on. Trying to figure out the old who done it. It was glorious. Ooh. Thank you for the link. Let's check this shit out. Oh, this! Ryu Quetzalcoatl, thank you so much for that. Risa Ryu. You, and only you. 
You're now the mightiest of barbarians. Thank you so much for that resub, Ryu. Mr. Ru Ru Ru, 19 I months I refuse. Around. Fuck! <laughs> I was about to throw on some rejubes too. God damn. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well, rip. Without oh, waiting for a reply, she turned and started toward one of the exits. You didn't refuse hard enough. <laughs> Come on, Ryu, you gotta refuse harder than that. No means no in the flare jungle. No means no. No means no. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for bringing <laughs> the Ruru fam to my humble oh, little stream. Man. And Tomps27, thank you for that follow. Now Tomps27, the Barbarian. <laughs> and welcome to the Archives. A good place to hide a bomb, I would say. I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. Feels amazing, man. We can talk while mm. we look. Now get started. The best way to find a bomb is to stroke your beard methodically. The bomb will appear before you. Yo, Vaza! Barbarian. How are you doing? Hope you're well. I turned to a corner of the room and began to look while I spoke. I'll start with a conclusion I've come to. That could I've be a suspicious to. looking lion bomb. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. So what are you watching? You are watching... A, uh, this is called uh, Virtue's Last Reward of the Notary Game series. It's a uh, visual novel, kind of a murder mystery, Saw. It's like Saw the anime, basically. And Zaison, thank you for that. Follow your Zaison, the barbarian. No, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. Hmm. It's more like we move through worlds. <laughs> yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe, really. Parallel worlds. Excellent, you're ready. Well, welcome aboard. There's kind of a mechanic in this game where we could jump through uh, various timelines. There's like a knowledge transfer between timelines mechanic in the game where we retain some of the knowledge of each of the timelines that we've gone through and we use those to solve puzzles and progress. <laughs> That's kind of what our characters are talking about here and there. For some reason my character and her are able to retain some of that knowledge. And Vazaw, thank you for that father. Now Vazaw, the barbarian. Hmm. Oh well. I'll just explain it. Let's say... I don't care what it is, but could you move? Scratch your head, cross your arms, put your hands on your hips? I had no idea what this was supposed to explain, but I did she asked. Where's scratch my butt? Applaud? <laughs> Where's it gonna applaud her? Put my hands on my hips, cross my arms. Yeah, that, that's, that seems like a thing. Yeah, let's cross our arms. It's too many timelines. Yeah, it's a lot of timelines. I see. You crossed your arms just now, right? But you could have chosen to put your hands on your hips or clap. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all Scratch of those things. Crash buttons under other. <laughs> all of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Every moment you mm. make a decision, another universe branches off. On and on into infinity. This is, this is too much brain work for a simple barbarian. Each of those branches is an alternate world. A world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if I hadn't cleaved my foe with an axe? You know, things, things like that. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten that meat sandwich last night. What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are there other worlds out there where you did those things? Anyway, that's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot. <laughs> Need to go it doesn't simpler. have to be human actions, though. 
I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature. All these can change history. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second here. I'll let microorganisms slide, but there's no way that air is conscious can of anything. Can you say for sure that you are? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. <laughs> My brain hurts. If we go down a little further, then you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms or electrons, or smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision at that level? How different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Hmm. Human existence is just one part of reality. <laughs> or or the samurai. <laughs> Maybe Kolthor the Knight? Maybe even somewhere out there there's like Kolthor the vending machine operator. <laughs> Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. See what I'm saying? Hmm. The only thing that really I matters is the Mercury. action of the most elementary particles <laughs> at where atoms. history happens. That's where universes break. Oh, now out. we're talking Disney Princess time. <laughs> My Disney princess power would be... Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? <laughs> I'm becoming more familiar by the minute here, but still not that familiar. Never mind, don't answer that. I'll try and keep it simple for you. Hmm. Please. Let's see. Hey, hand me that box, will you? Everybody buckle in, there's going to be a test later. Make sure to take careful notes. We're learning about quantum physics today. That's quantum physics with Kolthor the Barbarian. When X A cleaves skull B at a rate of Y. So keep it simple for me. I'm, I'm clearly not the smartest person here. So please dumb it down to like kindergarten level. Also, hmm. Ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. Perfect. He's part of Felide, too. Felide? Where, when did we get to Felide? Studying for the test, I just scratched my belly and fart. I like that timeline better. Where's the time? When do we get the timeline where we get our snack? Barbarian! Ain't all that good. Thank you for that follow. You know, ain't all that good. The barbarian. Still, now made better by being a barbarian. She tops it unceremoniously into the box. Totally typical, normal stuffed lion. Nothing suspicious here. Took a weight and an ink jar, put them in next to the lion. All right, everything's ready. Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. This will only take a minute. Now look. What's in the box? What's in the box? What do you see? I see the things you clearly said you were going to put in the box. From now on, that's a cat. A living cat. This is important. Got it? Oh sure, now we're just gods now. We can just animate inanimate objects. Oh man, this again? It's a cat meow. So my character apparently has a weird tick where if we talk about cats, he talks like a cat. So so let's keep that in mind. I find I can't that hard help to it. believe. <laughs> Ugh, fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. All right. What else do you see? Wait, that's. Not, not even a pond and a jar right. of ink. Right. Now the weight is going to be radioactive material. And the jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. What? Well, I'm getting out of here. Idiot. It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. Imagine that it's full of gas. So, uh, what's the weight? We get to use the unlimited power of my imagination. And the jar of ink. It's full of poisonous gas, yes. Our jar of ink is a noxious gas. Exactly. Book. Good work. 
Now, there's one other thing <laughs> In you case you forgot, the here's some giant fucking labels. <laughs> Cat radioactive material and poison gas potion. So you were still so you guys came from Ryu, but we're still playing Diablo. We still got you know we still got cats and poison gas potions. You know, this is just like Diablo 2. I don't see If it's struck by any of the alpha particles <clears throat> the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid. Bye -bye, and kitty. pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? You can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. Obviously, <laughs> As you can't I shake it either. It's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. It's basically the same game. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar? <laughs> no. It breaks the glass, the gas fills the box, the cat inhales it, and death will, will whisk her away. And what if the jar doesn't break? <laughs> cat lives to tell the tale. And what are the <laughs> chances of either of those things happening? 50-50. Uh-huh. 50 percent. Uh -huh. So, what's your answer? God damn it. Is the cat alive or dead? <laughs> I can't personally know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? <laughs> It's good to kind of be alive. I mean, we don't know. The cat is pause for dramatic effect. Alive. Nope, you're wrong. That's wrong too. Uh, there we go. That's better. The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither oh, dead nor alive. Brilliant. Steve the pirate. Thank you for that follow. Yo, S C Steve the pirate the barbarian. <laughs> It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom see, is spinning it's easy to teach or downward physics. until just we measure. You need a stuffed cat, a little a poisonous gas potion, and some radioactive material. It's easy. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we Do only know the probability that they'll impact tale. the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities... It's both alive and dead. Right. So, let's open the lid. And when hey. we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Hey, Doc, you with his little button eyes and his sun coin in his mouth. It's so easy! Meow. What a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. So we've had the quantum physics to fill the same role of nonsense we can't explain. Not a real cat, though. I still I believe it's a real cat. I I use the unlimited power of my imagination, and in my imagination, it's a real cat. Sun coin in its mouth, yeah. There seems to be a con a consistent theme that we keep running into of a lion eating the sun. Anyway, this is just that's a playful Schrodinger's cat. Of it. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. <laughs> this is another world out there where the cat yeah, died. Yeah, that's the idea. Nope, all worlds, cat is alive. I refuse to believe anything else. Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared she's up. Cl clearly she's a witch and we need to burn her. Insane. It's almost like events in the future can determine the past. It means the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? 
think back, remember round two of the AB game? When you chose Betray, what was my vote? But what oh, happened boy. this time? I chose Ally and you chose Betray. Right. And both times, I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? Right before the I deadline. I see. Anime is real. God damn it. Didn't Trump outlaw anime yet? You well, know, if he's going to at least do one thing as president, he can at least outlaw anime. If you chose Betray, then my vote was Ally. If you chose Ally, then my vote was Betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made you- Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? You do busy with Hamburgers and Kofefe. God, what a fucking asshole that guy is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like Back to the Future. We live in a world where Biff is all powerful. Anime equals not American equals not real. Exactly. All things are relative to America. I've seen I've seen Team America, and all things are just relative to America. Biff was based off of A's Trump. Yes, he was. <laughs> yeah, I know. He literally was. That's hilarious. Yeah. From your perspective, we literally have a meme of the no president. Other way That's to basically what we have. He's a meme that like rose out of the dark pits of Reddit. Well, there's at least three universes out there where anime is real. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Look at this die. I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. I'm good. I don't need any more examples. Uh, we get the whole cat poison potion thing. It's fine. We're good. We're good. All right. Answer this question. What number is the die on? It's always six. Okay. Always six. Hey, I'm right. You got it right. I know what I'm doing. I know my die. Was it? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Haven't you been paying attention? <laughs> the die is still a collection of atoms, isn't it? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. I was on all Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. Cube of meat. Thank you for that, Butler. Now, cube of meat, the barbarian. Or, it might have become that number when you declared which one it was. Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. My choice in the... <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Came here for me to stream. What is this game? This game is a who. It's basically saw the anime. <laughs> it involves like nine people trying to figure they out their way out of a death puzzle, but everybody's weird and crazy and trying to figure out why we're all here. What's going on? What's everyone's purpose for being here? We got a little off topic. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches. And one of the members in the in our group is the person who put us all here, named Zero. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. <laughs> Can I jump to the consciousness of myself where I drink more water and get a full night's sleep? Because that'd be nice. <laughs> what platform is this? This is on Steam. It was originally on the 3DS and then it was ported to Steam. This is on PS4? Really? I didn't know that. 
Yeah, that's the best I can figure out, at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. I'm not sure how it works, but whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited, and often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. That's why when someone asked us how we know X, all we could think of is say, I just yeah. do. What's causing this then? I don't remember ever seeing this before, so why would it start? If now? we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just... Well... I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior's trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cat book in the crew quarters? <laughs> you are kidding, are you? <laughs> Maybe he's just some sort of huge Schrodinger's cat experiment. And all nine of us are just locked up inside this box right now. Yeah, the voice acting is good, that's for sure. And what if you've got it backwards? We're outside of the box, and the rest of the world is inside. The moment we step out yeah, of this place. We might be determining the history of the world outside. Hmm. A thousand other questions before I could open my mouth to ask them. Oh good! There you are! Did something happen? Yes! We found it! Oh, well, I found the what? number two bomb. What else could we find? The bomb! The other antimatter bomb! The number two bomb is in the control room. We were in the control room. Well, I was in the control room. Yeah, the first game is called 999. Nine people, nine doors, nine hours. Or something of that order. And this is game two. Yeah. This is one of them, all right. No. There could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. Well, um, not really. But, uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Kay and Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. Archives and botanical gardens. I don't think we've opened the room with the X Labyrinth this time. I know we have not. We have not been to the laboratory. Everyone. So that means we don't have access to the. Theoretically, we don't have access to the uh, cure for their uh, radical six disease. Tenmyoji and Dio were there. So were Alice and Quark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. They're the same. Good night, Steve the Pirate. Thanks for hanging out. Still sleep. We checked them out just to be sure, but they seemed fine. Finally looked at one another, left. small sigh of relief. Oh, Praise the right. bomb. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want? To her only a moment to explain. Alice was a green solo. Cork was a blue solo. Dio's bracelet made him a yellow pair. Timiogis was a cyan pair. <laughs> We're the next set of groups. doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. Does that mean we have to drag their bodies with us? Fine tension energy would pair with me. Fine tension would pair with me. Uh, K and Dio would pair with Quark. Clover and Luna would pair with Alice. Huh? There's only one option? Yeah. Any other combinations don't make white. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without three bracelets. And if we can't open them... Exactly. Hmm. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Yeah. Well, I can get Luna to help me. 
True. I'm sure she'd be happy to help. He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. If it's also a trigger Maybe, effect. but we can't just leave them here forever. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is gonna get fried. A couple hundred kilometers? <laughs> Except that we've got an antimatter reactor here, which goes how no God knows how much. It could be. What if these bombs are just like the detonator? Oh. The reactor. Yeah, there is supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti hydrogen. Three and a half kilograms. Mr. Octopus New. <laughs> she has nice porch before she gets fried. Uh, oh, you, you, you should see Alice. You think you think she's nice? You should see Alice. If there really is that much, and if it does explode, then we would be looking at an explosion roughly ten thousand times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Yeah. Christ! That does it like cause a nuclear winter? God damn. Wait, Clover, how did you know that? Know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um, well, that's a... Uh, during my training, they... Again with the training. Uh, my job? Everyone's waiters these days, they to memorize how many operational antimatter reactors were there in the world. How much fuel each one of those reactors might be storing. You're working at a cafe, Did you, do you hear about that from Alice? Sure I did. Oh, well, um, she's right then. Why are you using antimatter reactors at a That's, cafe? That's, uh, what we call the coffee machines. Oh, God. <laughs> are you fucking with me? I'm telling I think you the you're truth. With me. I work at a cafe. Oh, my God. It just might, um, be a kind of fake job to divert attention. I think they call it a cover. Oh, my God. Then what's your real job? I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. Why not? It's classified. Classified? The government? She <laughs> okay, now we're getting into it. The government? <laughs> she reports to government man. I work for the government. I'm government man. And one blow, thank you for that following out one blow the barbarian. Alice owes her job to eliminate Alice owes her job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. So you two do work together. <laughs> Oh no! Check your bracelets! How much- How long until the doors open? Come on, quickly! Yeah, play it then. Vincent Adult Man at the Jobs Factory. Easy. I'm heading back then. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You guys hurry back, okay? Bye! Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> she can't tell us anything because the government shut down and all, so it's, it's, it makes sense. Hold on, I need to check something really quick. <laughs> but what are we checking really quick? Oh, there you are. You're late. What were you- Nothing. There was Alice on the table. <laughs> Clover told us. You've seen the bomb in the control room. So what the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it? Right here. There's a port. 
If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Not a problem. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. Uh, there that we go. was in the safe in the control room. <laughs> Turned out I was right. It fit perfectly. Plugged in a couple of random characters, but we all got was an error. You just randomly Still, plugged in characters. I'm sure this is Maybe the thing that wasn't Alice the best was talking idea. about. We just didn't have the right password. But why was it in the control room? Do you think Zero Senior put it here for us? That would suggest it was also Zero Senior who set up the bombs. He set up us the bomb. Doesn't that seem odd, though? Zero Senior wants us to play the Nonary game, right? So why would he set bombs? Maybe he wants to blow this whole place up if someone commits some crazy violation of the rules? That doesn't make sense. Our bracelets already have poison in them. If someone breaks a rule, all he has to do is activate their bracelet. <laughs> well, whatever the case is, there's one thing we can be sure of. The person who set these bombs is one of us. Whether or not that person is also Zero Senior isn't particularly relevant at the moment, but what is relevant is that they know the deactivation password. If we can figure out who that person is and question them. We know the password. We know it's Dio. We have the password already. We can get the password and turn the bombs off. Exactly. That would be my quick and easy method. So fess up. Which one of you set the bombs? <laughs> it's Dio. Not Circus that I expect man. you to do that. So we're going to be checking everyone. Checking us? Yes. Once they're set, the bombs are controlled by a remote. It stands to reason that whoever set them has that remote. So you're going to search us for it? Yes. But no buts. If you refuse, that implicates you. Do what I say and you'll be fine, <laughs> assuming you are actually innocent. Understand? No reason to wait. Let's get started. Anyone want to volunteer to go first? No? All right. Strip search time. It's my favorite time of day. Huh? <laughs> what? Why? I know who did it. Where's Rabbi before you realize I was safe? How can you? There's no way. Oh, there is. I know who set the bombs. That person. Objection! I don't need it to be continued. I know who did it. It was Dio. I have the password. Yes, go back. I know it didn't change. Huh? But... What? How can you? There's no way. How do I not have the answer? It's Dio. Unless Dio really didn't set the bombs and he just has. Wait, but he has the password. Alright, fine. I guess we're going another way then. Uh, I guess we'll just finish up this 
branch of stuff. Like, we know who did it! I have his ending! How is that not enough? Whatever. So I guess we'll just pick the other door then. Oh, god damn it. I didn't mean return, I meant... Ugh, I hate when I do this. set the code and had the bomb zero password we don't actually know he set the bombs true maybe it wasn't him but it certainly seems to implicate chromatic him. doors have five minutes remain until chromatic doors close hey the doors are open we need to figure out who's gonna <laughs> No, I don't feel good about that. I will go through the... Been through the blue door, so I'm going to go through the green door. What gives you the power to just decide that? That's fine. Like I said before, there's something I want to talk to him. Are you going to tell me what this thing is? That'll have to wait. Talk to me again on the other side. Oh, now I'm curious. <laughs> so you're fine with this, Alice? With option A? Do whatever you want. Are there any other objections? Okay, that's it then. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain until... Nine, eight, seven... Tammy OGD and Alice headed towards the red door while K, Quark, and Phi made their way towards the blue one. So that's me, Clover, and Luna. Gaping into the maw of the green door bounced in front of me as Clover, Luna, and I ran toward it. Two, one, zero. We can skip some of the dialogues that are going to come into the three doors. They're talking about, oh my god, there's three doors. We have to Chromatic pick one. doors closing. Uh, open the door, yeah, wonderful. Archives. <laughs> Skip the loot dialogue, oh man. Maybe try flipping it one more time though. I think you could actually manage it with just I think you could actually manage it with just one hand, Clover. Just do it really fast. It'll only take a second. Just up and down. <laughs> Alright, nice. So this is the archive. That's what it said on the door after all, but yeah. I didn't really expect it yeah, to be. Yeah, we get so to play with the lion again. Archive all these books and stuff everywhere. Real games. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I agree. Split up and look around. How are we doing on time? Eh, not particularly great. Let's get a save in here. Eighteen hours in, I only have one ending. Ugh. It's. I wonder if it's just gonna get to the point where I just like bam, 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 ending, 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 because I've progressed decently far down a lot of these branches. It's hard to say. I'm definitely not. I don't know. It's hard to say if I'm like I'm like maybe close to halfway. It would seem, but maybe not quite. Hard to say. Oh well. Alright, what do we got? Management number. Uh, 
Yes, all in is required. Maybe it's referring to the bookshelves in front of us. Well, maybe. Oh, that's a lot of books. Yeah, we've played Dark Souls 1 and 2. Yo, what up, Dr. Robert? No, we haven't escaped yet. we still got a lot of endings to go. Although, technically, we've escaped once. Bookshelf. We still have Dark Dark Souls 3 is still on the list of games we have to play. Shaped like the diagrams on the chart. Management chart for the bookshelf. There's the dice box. <laughs> Perfectly ordinary die. Nothing suspicious at all. <laughs> it's clearly one, two, three, four, five. It's the kind of combination an idiot puts on his luggage. <laughs> well, this is actually it. No, oh, darn. <laughs> no luck. <laughs> yep, that's this is what we do. This is what I call my Gabe Gauntlet. I have uh, amassed through many different means a very large Steam library, largely thanks to the wonderful donations of a lot of the fans of this channel. And uh, I've committed myself to being every game in my Steam library that is beatable. I figured I have all these games, and it was a shame for a long time that I had all these games. I just never played them, so. I'm going to play them all. At the end of every game, we have a raffle. You guys get to pick the order in which I play these games. So, exciting stuff. Had a lot of good times. None of us can read them. I don't see any books that immediately look suspicious. More scales. Oh. Perfectly ordinary die. There's our weight. And a screwdriver. 50 grams. And of the lion. To the sun. D73. Go up. Go up the stairway. B063. And the lion. To the sun, CO5. To the sun and the lion. And the lion to the sun. Any other weird? Oh, there's one. Oh, the stairway go up. And there's a little lion buddy up there. 
too high. Uh, 